My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today we have the next episode of the Pack and Play series. And for usual guys, give this video to 500 likes if you guys have seen me do some more Pack and Play. I know you guys really enjoy the Pack and Play series. In the last episode though, we spent a ton of training. We still have a ton of training remaining. And we made a bunch of new upgrades. So as you guys can see from the team, the offense is looking pretty dang good. We have Brandon McDaniel here at left guard. We have Lamar Jackson at quarterback, per usual. Defensively, though, we now have Ray Lewis at middle linebacker number two. Uh, we also have, uh, upgraded Leonard Williams and I believe Marshawn Lattimore as well. We just picked him up in the last episode. So we have a lot of new upgrades to the team. Really excited to get into the game. Hopefully, we can make a couple of plays. And also... Uh, Hopefully Ray Lewis can get like two picks because I would really love to be able to upgrade him. Let's get into it. So this is my opponent. See me as 99 Sean T, 99 Ryan Chazier, and also Drew Brees. And then there's my top three. So coming in on defense, I'm super excited to have Ray Lewis out here, which by the way, Ray Lewis is not even in the game right now as Micah Hyde gets the first tackle. And the main reason I decided to get Ray is because he's so much better in the run game. And to have him and Roquan Smith here is going to be very, very big for stopping them. And especially in the formations I like to use. They're not very run-heavy defenses. So having him out here is going to be pretty big. Micah Hyde. I thought he was about to get the strip. He's down to the 48 and he's going to be running the ball. Come on, Ray. Why did Ray Lewis just try to play two-hand touch with Todd Gurley? He literally, like, stuck his hands out and touched him, and that was literally all that he did on that play. Uh, second 11, though, let's see what he's going to go back to. I'm going to be using Ray Lewis once again. Actually, I'm going to leave Ray because I really want to try and get Roquan Smith powered up. That'd be huge as he's running it. Come on, man. Really? Oh, okay. Thankfully, he did not score a touchdown. Nice run there from my opponent. I'm expecting to feed Gurley a lot, lot more as I don't see anything open. And we get the sack with Rashawn Gary. Need to have that pass rush. And of course, Leonard Williams now is up to a 95. So I need to see something out of him because he's going to be able to go to his max form once he gets like two sacks in a game as we get a sack from Alan Page. So that's one pack right there for the two sacks. And if Alan Page gets another sack in this game, we finally get to upgrade this man, which I would love to have as that's... Come on. Should have had the interception there with Roquan Smith, but of course we, we get the uh, bad time drop user pick like I always get as we're going to try and find AJ Green open. What kind of throw was that? Hopefully we can come on next drive though and actually get an interception with Roquan Smith because we only need like two picks to be able to actually upgrade him to a 99 overalls. We're running the ball here. Philip Lindsay juking out someone, hitting a spin move, and Philip Lindsay is going to be taking this one all the way to the 48. And of course, you guys know rushing yards are super important right now because if we can get to 200 rushing yards, we get to upgrade one of our offensive linemen to a 99 overalls. We're going to be running the ball here. Lamar Jackson is picking up 15. So I think right there, that was like 40 total rushing yards we have so far. And it's still in the first quarter. So we can just get, you know, a couple more quarterback draws in, some read options, and we might be able to get these 200 rushing yards. Lamar Jackson, please hit a nasty spin move, break a tackle, and Lamar Jackson picks up five. It's 30 inches, and I'm going to pass the ball here because I know he's expecting me to run it. So if I motion out Randy, I think we might be just low point it here to Randy Moss and be able to come. Yeah, we should be able to catch this. Randy Moss, easy first down. I'm going to look for Randy Moss or maybe Robert Foster on this out route. Or this little out cut, I guess. And it looks like neither of them are going to be open. X might have been over like a second as right bumper should be able to catch that. Robert Foster, thank you. There we go. Nice little play there. Now we're down to the 18-yard line, and I'm going to run a read option here. I feel like he's probably not expecting a read option out of this formation. Lamar Jackson hit a spin, and we picked up the first. I'm going to try and stay in bounds and pick up a couple more yards. It's third and goal. We don't really need these eight rushing yards, but if we can get a touchdown pass here, that'd be huge for getting another pack as I think we might be to... Oh, crap. So field goals don't mean anything in terms of packs, and we're just going for packs here. So we got to go for it on fourth down, and we can't get the ball to Moss. I just need another sack from Alan Page so we can upgrade him as my opponent's going back to the pass. And oh, Deion, good play. I knew I wasn't going to get there in time, but Deion Sanders just made a heck of a play there. Third and 14. Let's see if we can't get a sack here. Hopefully someone on this defensive line can come in clutch here and stop this man. Alan Page, I'm looking at you. One more sack, man. That's all we need. Get that nice little upgrade there. That'd be huge for this defensive line 
as he's coming out in five wide here. I left the tight end open. I didn't think he'd go there. Dang it, man. I really did not think he'd go to the tight end on that play, but I'm going to come out now and I'm actually running pass rush on aggressive for this play. As he is coming out in five wide, I don't think he's going to fake snap. And it looks like we might be able to get there in time. Dang it, man. I didn't think he'd go there. No strip. That was the strip animation there with Derwin James, and I thought for sure we were about to get the strip. I guess we just got to watch the flats in the tight end. It's basically like exactly where he's going. Just a bunch of drags, and he usually sends his tight end kind of deeper. He's running stick here, and we get the sack, but it was Rashawn Gary. So not the player I wanted to get the sack with, but now it's going to be a 55-yard field goal here. And I have a feeling he's going to try and just chuck it short. So I'm going to watch the flats, watch over the middle. I'm all over that. We get the fumble. Who hit him? So I believe it was Leonard Williams who just got that strip sack. Uh, I'm not going to count that as anything for an upgrade just yet because his next upgrade is like the best one. So we got a strip. He got a, a fumble, a sack. I think he needs at least one more sack to get that next power up. We have 20 seconds left, but we also have two timeouts. So we've got a decent amount of time to try to go down the field as Moss can't catch it for some reason. All right, so Moss couldn't hang on to that. Not sure why, but 15 seconds left. He's coming out of a very, very pass-heavy defense. I'm actually going to run the ball here because if we can just get some more rushing yards, that would be key as well, and crap. All right, so we have one second left. I guess we're just going to try and run the ball out here because I don't think passing is going to work. So we're going to run a halfback draw. Let's see if we can't get some good blocks to the outside. Philip Lindsay picking up a first down, juking out defenders, and unfortunately, we couldn't score. We picked up like 18 rushing yards. The good thing is that we're only down 3-0 here, so we can still kind of run the ball, but we do want to run down the field here and kind of get some urgency. His X is going to be wide open down the sideline. AJ Green tried in the juke move, but it didn't work. Okay, so we're back to the way up to 3-19 after a negative run play there. That was uh, not very fun. Let's see who's going to be open, though. He is sending a little bit of a blitz, but OJ Howard should be able to catch that. Dang it, OJ. OJ Howard literally had him beat. I'm not sure why he wasn't able to catch that, but 4th and 19. I think he's going to send a blitz off that left side. No, it looks like he's actually not only pass rushing 3. And we're going to try to go to Randy Moss once again. Moss! No, we didn't get the first. We got to get our offense going, man. This is not going so good. As once again, he's coming on this I form. Might be a play action. It looks like it is going to be a play action this time. And of course, Calvin Johnson's wide open, hitting a juke move, and he's all the way down to the 27. He's coming out of the bunch now. I think this might be a toss to the outside. He might have just... Did he flip the... No, it actually is going to be a pass play. Okay, I'm watching that tight end. Go! Derwin James with the interception. Don't get tackled, Derwin James. Pick six. Take this all the way back to the house. Thank you, Derwin James. Todd Gurley, stay away from me. Let's go. Thank you, Derwin James. You are an absolute monster with that pick six. And of course, we get a pack for the pick. And a pack for the touchdown. So now we have to four packs. As he's going to find Todd Gurley wide open right up the middle. And he's all the way down to the 43. All right. My opponent is literally just trucking his way down the field here. He's even running two clocks. So he's feeling a little confident. He's going to be able to score a touchdown. But we get another sack with Micah Hyde. And that was our fifth sack. So we can get one more sack here. We'll get another pack. As he's going deep. Darwin James coming up with another interception. This man is a beast. I feel like he's expecting me to run it here. So that's exactly what I'm not going to do. I'm going to pass the ball. But I actually want to try and scramble a little bit with Lamar Jackson. And let's see if we can't scramble for this first down. Lamar Jackson going down the sideline. Hitting a juke move. Stay in bounds. Lamar Jackson. Ryan Chase here. Get off me. And we're all the way down to the 28. I'm going to keep running this ball. I do want to try and score another touchdown though. So I'm actually going to pass the ball here in second and eight. And let's see if we can just catch him off guard. If he's going to be like in a man blitz, which he is. And I'm going to try and take off. Maybe someone will come back to the ball. B, please catch this AJ Green or Randy Moss. Thank you. I know that play looks really bad, but I was just waiting for someone to come back to the ball, and luckily, Randy Moss is able to step in front there. Oh, it's really, really cheesy. We're going to try and run the ball here with Philip Lindsay, though, and Lindsay's getting in for the touchdown. And I think my opponent may have just dashboarded on us, which means... Did he quit? He did, in fact, quit, so we get the win, and we get the rage quit. That's going to be eight packs for this episode. So, guys, keep in mind, we have 6,850 training points Still remaining from the last episode. So if we can get a good power-up poll here, we'll be able to upgrade that quite a bit. Unfortunately, we don't get to power up anyone that had like a great game. No one really had a crazy game that needs to be upgraded. But once again, there's no elite player packs, there's no color smash packs or anything. So we do get to do one legend fantasy pack in this video for our elite player pack for the five packs that we get. 
So round number one, we're going to get a couple gold. So of course, take the highest overall players, the most training, uh, 71. Okay, round number two, Brandon Copeland. Uh, we get an 81 overall punter. We don't need that. 76. What is this? 88 Michael Pierce. Okay, so we have Bradley Chubb. I forgot. <laughs> We're not going to be using him. Also, I forgot to say this. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore. So, yes, I did pull his card, and I forgot to do it, but we're going to get some training back as well because I actually used training, and I counted it up to his base elite. But since we pulled his power up and we pulled his base elite, the amount of training that it costs to take his power up up to his base elite, we're going to get that back. Uh, be able to use that for upgrades because I completely forgot about that rule. Round number three, though, we get a 90 overall left tackle, which we already have a good one. Uh, we get 89 Bill Romanowski and 94 Bill Romanowski, which uh, our current run outside linebacker, of course, is not the best guy. And I know people are going to be mad at me for doing this, but the reason I'm going to keep Dante Fowler here is because I'm waiting on a better path. You know what, actually? I think Bill Romanowski for now we could potentially use. But I mean, I don't like that he doesn't have very good pass rush stats. Only got an 81 finesse move. But because his strength is so much higher, his block is much higher, I will take him for now and use him until we get a better right to linebacker. Because I mean, that is 9,000 training. That's a lot of training points. I'm really hoping to eventually get ourselves like Lawrence Taylor's power up. That would be the best thing possible for the team. If we can give that, that'd be absolutely amazing. We have eight gold player packs to get into though as we start off with 81 overall Cheeto. We get a 77 Richie James, and I mean, all these elites, it's just extra training, which right now I'm not sure exactly what to do with my training points. As you get 88 overall Jerome Bettis, okay, nice little pull there, not going to be using him on the team, but that is again, some nice training points. Power up, Le'Veon Bell. Okay, I mean, we already have Phil Plenty, so we don't really need that one. 81 overall Andre Hall as well, so again, more training points. Third goal player pack, another power up. Franco Harris. Okay, so we have Mike Allstout right now. But I could potentially upgrade Franco. And I feel like I probably like Franco a little bit. I think we actually might do Franco Harris's power up in this episode as we get 83 overall Jordy Nelson there as well. And next goal player. Can we get another power up? I would love that. Low team of elite. 80 overall Matt Milano. Not what I wanted to see there. Next pack. I just I just want to get like a Lawrence Taylor power up so bad. It's the one power up I want. So I think when we do the next spin, I'm definitely going to try and get that 85 overall Calvin Ridley. If I can land on that free power of player of our choice, yeah, I'm probably going with LT. Stephon Gilmore. Okay, so we get another cornerback power up, which I really don't need. So I don't think we're going to be doing this guy's power up anyway, Stephon Gilmore, as we get. Even overall, Roy Robertson Harris. Okay, again, another card we don't need. Is this the final goal player pack? I think it is. We get a legend, 82 Lorenzo Neal, and I think that was it. Guys, we are going to get 288 training back from Marshawn Lattimore because we had his base lead, so I, I shouldn't have counted the training that we used to actually get him up to his base lead card. And I'm also not going to quick sell Stephon Gilmore's power up just in case we end up pulling like some sort of Stephon Gilmore. It's probably just wanted all the power ups just in case something does happen. So in total, because I'm not going to quick sell Bill Romanowski. We get 3,700 training on top of all that. So since we are going to be using Bill Romanowski for now, I'm going to go ahead and spend five training on him, and then we're going to put some chemistry on him. So five plus pass rush times three, so 80 training on Bill Romanowski. So we are going to spend 3,200 training here and upgrade Franco Harris, but because we're going to upgrade Franco Harris, that means we get to get rid of our Mike Allstott. So really, it's not going to cost us that much training to do, and in my opinion, we get a better fullback, a better running fullback anyways, and then of course, we can upgrade him to 94 overall if he has a good game. So 3,200 training there, and then we're also going to put, of course, you know, Steelers game doesn't cost anything to do that. But 3,200 training plus zone run times two. So we're looking at 3,225. And we're also going to put... Eh, I don't really think we need it, honestly. So I'm just going to put 3,225. And Mike Allstott, we're going to go ahead and get some training back here. So we get two training there. A wonderful two training. And because he's an 88 overall, he quicks out for 1,100. So we get 1,102 training back. We didn't make a ton of upgrades in this episode, but I think it was actually a really, really fun game. Right until the end, it was super, super close. We're a 94 overall team now. That is 
pretty dang crazy. I think we put in everyone. Bill Romanowski now is at right outside linebacker, and the defense still looking very good. Hopefully, in the next game, we can finally get Alan Page. I've been trying so hard to get him. If we can get a Derwin James power up, that would be absolutely huge when it comes to powering him up. Marshawn Lattimore need to get him more involved because I want him to get like an interception or two so we can power him up, and then hopefully we can summon Franco Harris at running back next game, and we'll try to run like a couple halfback dives or even fullback dives. Get him into the end zone a couple times so we can upgrade him and also try and get the 200 rushing yards. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment per usual. Give this video to 500 likes if you guys enjoyed the Pack and Play series and you want to see more. Let's do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.